The rise of Chrome OS has been nothing short of fantastic. With so many of our daily computing needs being met with online services, having a laptop which only runs a web browser and a bunch of useful web apps isn't such a bad idea anymore. But is the same true of a desktop? I've been using the Acer Chrome-based Touch for the past week or so, and as much as there are frustrations, there are also things I really enjoyed. I'm Cam from 9to5google.com, and this is my review. Overall design is what you'd expect from a 21.5 inch desktop that costs well under $500. That is to say, there's a lot of plastic. The entire body of the chrome base is a clean matte finish white plastic. It's rounded towards the back with a number of vents in the row along the top. Positioning of the ports is curious though. What you'd class as the necessary ports are hosted in a row under a ledge right on the back. Here you have two USB 2 ports, the power input, HDMI and an Ethernet port. If you want access to the SD card slots, the 3.5mm audio out or single USB 3 port, you have to pry open a large plastic door which sits just behind the left edge of the display. While in place it disguises the ports and looks just like the rounded back on the opposite side. But when detached, when you're not using these super useful ports, it sort of sits on your desk looking out of place, not really knowing what to do with itself. One of the best design features is the kickstand on the back. It can adjust to virtually any angle and still hold the Acer desktop sturdily. Whether you want it virtually upright or almost horizontal, it can pivot to meet your requirements. On the front, beneath the screen, is a long grill covering the entire width of the computer which hides a couple of 3 watt speakers. Around the screen on my model is a thick black bezel which hides a webcam on the top and a couple of microphones. And then we get to the screen itself. I'd be lying if I said it was the best 1080p screen I've ever seen, but it'd be stupid to expect one to be housed inside a super affordable desktop. For the money, it's great. Colours on the LED backlit LCD panel are vivid and detailing is pretty sharp providing you're sitting far enough away from the screen. But it does lack in a couple of areas. Contrast isn't particularly high, blacks come off as more really dark grey while whites aren't as crisp and clean as you'd get on a higher end display. Still, colours are relatively accurate and viewing angles are great. And the screen is plenty big enough to have a couple of windows running side by side making it a perfect workstation for anyone whose work is primarily based online. What's more, you can connect it to a second monitor or TV screen using the included HDMI cable. Since I have the touch model, I had three main input methods to go between. Mouse, keyboard and the touchscreen. I'd love to lord the benefits of having a touchscreen on a desktop computer, but sadly, I can't. Yes, it was very useful for the odd time when I want to zoom in and out of images and maps using a pinch to zoom gesture. Holding my arm up for any length of time was uncomfortable, so those interactions were short, few and far between. That's not to say I think the Chrome base would be better off without it. The times I wanted to use it, it was beneficial. Google Maps is one app that really benefits from multi-touch manipulation. It's so much quicker and easier than fiddling around with a mouse especially a cheap mouse like the included Acer one. The scroll wheel was a tad unresponsive and had a rubbery, almost squeaky feel to it, and the keyboard wasn't particularly wonderful either. I don't mind thick protruding keys so much when the switches are mechanical, but the Acer keyboard that ships with a chrome base, as far as I can tell, isn't mechanical. Keys feel a little spongy and don't offer enough feedback for me. But these are the complaints of a touch typist whose fingers are familiar with a specific keyboard, it took me some time to get used to the feel, the size and the placement of the keys. Now, Acer's Chrome base is powered by an NVIDIA Tegra 2.1GHz processor. It's ARM based, meaning it's not too dissimilar to processors found in smartphones and tablets. For the most part, it copes well with daily tasks. In the 10 days I've used it, only once did the Chrome base start to get unresponsive and unbearably slow. And that was after I'd left it overnight and had far too many tabs and windows open at once. It has 4GB of RAM which should be plenty for running pages and apps. Response times aren't instant, and oftentimes web pages take a little while longer to load than what I'm used to. That said, it's a case of managing expectations. It's never going to match a 21.5 inch iMac for speed and performance. 
For its price point, it's definitely fast enough. Overall then, this machine is a great computer when you consider how much it costs. There are two versions of this ASA Chrome base. The model I reviewed is the touchscreen model, which will set you back about $429. Or there's the non-touchscreen one, which costs $329. I'll leave links to both of them in the description box below. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter. You can follow me there, give me suggestions, give me your thoughts on this Chrome base. I'll see you again soon.